Hey, my Benzo buddies, it's Dr. Jen here. I just wanted to pop in and say hello to you. I'm in my garden. I'm taking out some old spent morning glory vines and taking out the old annuals. Summer has come to an end. We're now into fall and now it's, it's a new season. So it's time to get the garden cleaned up from the summer and get it prepared for a new season. And as I'm tearing out things and, and working in the garden, I thought about how benzo withdrawal, it's a season. It's a rough season for many of us. It's a challenging season for many of us, but it is just a season. You will get well, you will recover. I promise, we all do. And I, I just wanted to remind you of that. I really just wanted to let you know that Whatever challenges you have right now because of benzo withdrawal, I promise they will get better. It might happen in little teeny tiny increments, so small that you don't even realize them until enough small things add up to a bigger thing. I know for myself, I really didn't know that I was getting well until I would look over my shoulder kinda and I'd go, oh, wait a minute, I've been able to do this, this, and this, I'm getting better. And then of course, there was always the inevitable kind of uptick in symptoms. I'd have a bit of a wave and it'd be like, oh no, I'm really not getting well at all. It's such a roller coaster, isn't it? But the good news is the roller coaster really does come to an end. It really does. And you get your life back. You know, it took me a while. I had a rough withdrawal. Um, if you've read my story, you know, <laughs> you know, it was, it was pretty hard. But I have this beautiful, wonderful life now. And in benzo withdrawal, I gardened as a coping mechanism. And now I garden because I love it. I mean, it just, it just brings me such joy. And um, right now, if I were to pan the, the camera this way, you'll see all the work that I that I'm doing to bring out, you know, all the all the old stuff. And well, here I'll I'll show you um, if I can flip it around. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, it's not letting me flip like it used to. Oh, because I'm in I'm in landscape mode. Well, I'll just do a quick turn. Hopefully, we'll catch it. So you'll see boxes and, and things. So the boxes, I'm gonna put some of the old stuff in. I mean, you can just see how much I've, how much I've torn out. But I used to garden as, as a way to, to distract and to, you know, keep my wits about me, so to speak. And now I just garden because I love it. It is so nourishing. And next spring, I'm hoping to be able to share some gardening tips with people so that you can get your hands in the soil and have a bit of distraction. And there's a bacteria in the soil actually that we evolved with that helps us, it helps boost our serotonin so that we can actually feel better. So gardening is a really good way to take care of ourselves and benzo withdrawal. Um, and I know with the fall here, you know, not many people in our country or around the world can do gardening in the fall. I'm lucky that I live in one of the Mediterranean climates, so I could theoretically garden all year, all year long, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna let the garden rest this fall and I'll just, uh, I'll take care of my window boxes and my inside plants. But I just wanted to pop in and just say hello. Everybody in my community, in the Benzo community, you've been on my heart a lot lately because I know that this has been a really hard year. 2020 has been a challenge because not only are you going through Benzo withdrawal, you also have COVID-19 and we have political, uh, you know, volatility going on and we've got social injustice and social unrest and economic issues. There's just so many things going on right now on top of your benzo recovery. I know that. So my hat goes off to you for, you know, for graciously dealing with everything because I know it's an added burden. And so I just, I'm proud of each and every one of you for waking up and doing what you need to do in order to keep going. And please don't give up hope. I know it's easy to do. 
And if you can't find it inside of yourself to believe that you'll get well, let me believe for you. Because I don't only believe that you're gonna get well, I know you're gonna get well. Life is so sweet. Oh, right now there's a handful of birds at the bird feeders and they're so precious. You are going to appreciate those small things. You can't right now probably, but you will. Life is gonna take on this richer, deeper meaning. You're going to be happy and you will be healthy. So please keep going and know that, you know, just like I'm taking out all the spent summer flowers and the spring flowers, and getting the garden ready for this season of quiet, this season of kind of deep, deep growth. You know, the winter as we approach, you know, we're into fall and now we're approaching the winter. Know that that's what's happening in your life too right now. This is your season. This is your season for quiet, for growth, you know, for recovery. This is your season and I know it's hard but I promise you, it's a season worth going through. The other side is amazing. It's just amazing. And you will not only have recovered from benzo withdrawal, but if you keep your heart open through this, you are going to find that you just have a deeper, richer appreciation for life. You're going to be alive in a brand new way. That's certainly my story. I don't have my pre-existing anxiety disorder or my panic disorder. I don't. I've, I've rewired, I rewired my nervous system, you know, by doing those things that I promote on my blog, those four cornerstones of well-being, And it's what we talk about in the support group all the time. Eat right, which is a whole food plant-based diet. Move enough, stress less, and love well. So I'm living proof that we can suffer mightily but when we get on the other side, we live spectacularly. And I promise your day is coming. So I'm gonna go back to tearing out the old vines. And as I do, I know it sounds maybe kind of corny, but I always say thank you to them. Thank you for the beauty that you gave this garden. Thank you for the beauty and the joy that you gave to me. I always say thank you. And I know this is gonna sound a bit strange, but you know what? I actually say thank you for benzo withdrawal. It was a rough season, but what I learned from going through it, I could have I could have never learned any other way. So, yeah, thank you benzo withdrawal for all that you gave me, the opportunities you gave me for deep growth and maturation and learning compassion and love and to be of service to others. So yeah, thanks Garden, as I look around. Thank you Garden for all your beauty. And thank you Benzo Withdrawal. You've been able to give me this life that I so love and so cherish. And I know that Benzo Withdrawal can do the same for you. I've spoken a lot. I was just gonna talk for a couple of minutes, but I really just wanted to pop in and say, hey, and I am gonna start making more videos. Um, everybody's been asking me to do that. And I've held off for a long time but in just a couple of days, it will be October, and I will have been involved in this community for 10 years, for 10 years. And so I'm gonna start sharing more videos. I wanna give you more hope. I wanna give you more answers, more solutions. I want you to hold on. I want you to get to the other side because it is just amazing. I love each and every one of you so much. Please take really good care of yourselves.